seconds. All right, and and we're taping now. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jamar Five Hundred once again. Welcome back to my channel. This time, I am doing yet another rant video. Okay, well, apparently you guys just heard Stuart McFerrin. Um, actually, he's the only one joining me for this call. Stuart, introduce yourself. Go right ahead. Okay. All right. Now. Okay, I just took out my, my red card. Now, the reason why I'm taking out this red card, as you guys can see here, is because we're doing this red card slash rant video, excuse me, on, on Chris Fortin. Why? Because Chris was using the N-word to a certain person who I'm not going to bring up because he's innocent. And I'm also going to rant on, on Chris because he was actually asking that same person for his phone number and for other personal information. What's your problem, man? Why are you, say, why are you using the N-word on people? It's wrong for you to say that. I've gotten into trouble in school for calling people the N-word like that. What's your problem? Don't you know you could probably go to jail for saying har harmful things like that? And also, asking about someone else's phone number or other personal information, I would never do that. I would never do that to anybody, especially friend, people on the internet. That's wrong. Would I ask you for your phone number? No, because I'm not stupid. That's wrong. You don't ask somebody for, the, for their phone number or for other personal information, especially on the internet. What's your problem? You should be ashamed of yourself. Hold on, Stuart. I'll get to you in a moment. You should be ashamed of yourself for what you did. Now I'm going to turn to you. Go ahead.
Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, Stuart's mom came over, came over and interrupted him. Keep going, Stuart. Okay, well, while Stuart is gone for, for the uh, bathroom break, it's a good thing that Stuart brought up Goblin Fan 2007. Um, you want to know something, Chris? I think you're meant to be with Daniel Harper because from what I heard, and I'm going to bring Aubrey up again because Stuart already did. Um, Stuart, let's see, Stuart brought up Aubrey, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to say this. I think that you two are made for each other. Yes, Chris, I think that you and Daniel Harper are made for each other. The reason why I'm bringing up Aubrey again is because I remember that Daniel Harper said to Aubrey that he had a fetish for him. I don't know what Daniel's problem is for, for saying something very, very nasty like that. Daniel should be ashamed of himself for saying such things like that, too. Oh, okay, well, while you were gone, I was bringing up... I was talking about Daniel Harper real quick because you brought him up in this. And I'm sorry, Stuart, but I brought Aubrey up in this because you already did and when you were not meant to, but it's too late. I already brought him up only because you did. But anyway, um, yeah, so again, Chris Fortin, th th this, ne this really, really ne needs to stop now. A and I'm dead serious about this. If you even think about asking me for your phone number, don't even go there. Don't even go there because guess what? I don't care about you. I don't want to know you, okay? And Stuart, part of this is your fault too because what? Let, let me tell you guys something. A, 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 a number of weeks ago, we were having a group call involving Stuart, myself, and, and, and let's see, and a few other people who I'm not going to bring up because they're innocent. Stuart had the nerve, yes you did, you Stuart, you had the nerve to add Chris Fortin onto that group call. So part of this is your fault too. So, so direct message to you, you should be ashamed of yourself for doing that. But, but, yeah, seriously, Chris, the, no, the, I, I can't do this with you, okay? I, I really can't do this to you. And for that person who, who did that message video on you that day, because I still remember it, you, you, you know what? Do us both a favor. Do Stuart and myself a favor. You need to apologize to that person, okay? And Mr. Person, Mr. Innocent Person, I hope that you're watching this because I want you, Mr. Good Friend of Mine, to state your comments in the box below. I want you to state your comments below during or after this video because Chris Fortin has actually been um, harassing you and then he was asking you, for your personal information. So, Mr. Innocent Person, I seriously hope that you're watching this because what Chris did was wrong and he never should have asked for your phone number or anything like that because that's not his business. Now, let me use you as an example. 
Would I give you my phone number? No, because it's wrong. Would you give me your your phone number? No, because it's wrong. Yes. Okay, so, I'm, I'm sorry, Chris, but the way you act, I'm sorry. I, I, I really, I really cannot trust you. So, I'm very, very sorry, but you've got a red card on my channel. And don't even think about talking to me in any way, because I'm not going to talk to you. So, so the... All right. So now rem remember Stuart, Chris has not actually gotten to me. So I can't say leave us alone, but I will say it like this. Take these middle fingers right here as you see them. Shove them up your ass and leave my friends alone. You got that? Is that clear? Thank you. I'm going to conclude this video. So Stuart what are your final thoughts on Chris? Uh, your mom just told you to stop using profanity. All right. Thank you very much, Stuart, for, for joining me. And ladies and gentlemen, before I shut this video off, I would like to say that I'm very sorry. And I, and I know Stuart is too, because his mom had interrupted him uh, uh, during this video. So uh, I, I, I seriously hope she can ac accept my apology for, for this if she's watching this. But, um, but ho hopefully she'll understand. And. I'll try, Stuart, I'm going to try not to get you into more trouble because things will get worse if I do. So, okay, enough about that. I mean, yeah, that, that would be devastating. Ugh. Uh, okay, um, but yeah, alright, all no no more talking, I'm gonna end this video now, so that's it, Stuart, thank you very much for joining me, and Jamar500 is signing off, so I'll see you guys next time, goodbye. Okay, that takes care of that, and I guess we're gonna call it a night.